all of this will be processed as wood for the mini wood stove in the RV. It's wood that I've gathered up over the past year around the yard here that's fallen from the trees out in the woods that surround the yard. Yeah, from all these fallen trees out here, I get a lot of my wood. In fact, those will be processed right there. At some point, I'll have to cut those down. Everything I need, man, right in my backyard. The woods in the back and to the sides and a river to the front. What more can you ask for? All right, we're getting a little pile there, slowly, but surely.
done for today, except that I have to have to put it inside the RV still. Um, I still got to do a workout. I like to do my push-ups and sit-ups every other day. Kind of keeps an old guy in shape. I'd like to get a walk in today. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I really like the that uh, Honda generator. It's really quiet. That's why I like it. Um, it's I think it's the 2000. You're not going to run a um, you're not going to run your air conditioning off it, but if you need to, you can run quite a few things off it. It doesn't use a lot of gas. It has a an echo button so that you use less. Um, I don't use it that often. Um, so it usually gives me a little bit of trouble when I have to start it. I mean, after 10, 15 pulls, it usually starts. And probably half of the problem is, is that I don't have it on choke when I think I do. What? Anyway. Uh, all right, man. We're going to get some wood in here. I've got this rigged up like this so that I can have some fresh air in here. All right. The next chore is to fill up my water. All right, so we're gonna do that right now as well. I don't know if you can see my water set up now. I really like it. Yeah, it's right down there. It's inside of a crate. And below it, it has a bucket to catch uh, any any water that drips afterwards. So that's the setup right there. That holds enough water for I think it's like five six gallons. Um, I keep some extra ice in this container right there, and right there is some of my water on reserve, um, which I'm gonna put into that tank right now. And I think I'm gonna just do it outside because that's a little bit easier than trying to do it in here. All right, cool. set the arrows up there's two little arrows you can hardly see them you have to line them up and then either turn it one way to loosen it or another way to tighten it there you go loosen Thank you. 
the water is done the wood is done the bucket goes into the wood container here this is where I will normally keep up the chop wood and uh, put it in here kindling chopped 63 degrees inside the RV right now and that's coming strictly from um, the sun during the day if it's a sunny day this place has no problem heating up to a decent temperature uh, again I don't know if I mentioned we're gonna be down to 14 degrees tonight uh, the coldest so far this season Been in your waters Been knocking at your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before It's one way or the other No way in between I ain't getting any younger And you will stay forever a All right, this little gadget right here, this is called the pocket bellow, pocket bellows. It goes long like that, man. Check this out. You just blow on the end, you just blow right into here. This thing is awesome. So right now I don't really need this, um, but I just kind of want to show you how it worked. I'll show you how it works though. I'll give you a really good good example of it is when the fire is not doing as well as you'd like. That's when you give it a good shot of the pocket bellow. And that thing is good for indoors or outdoors. Any place where you need that extra oomph to get your fire going. Simply an amazing little gadget. It's really cool. And it comes right in this little, this little, this little uh, carrier here, which could also be used to carry other things too. You know, you just take the ends off it, and it goes, fits right in there, man, right into your pocket. Pocket bellows, sweet, sweet, sweet little product. I recommend one highly to everyone. At least anyone who's going to be building a fire. I just put that piece of wood in there. And I just, you know, gave the fire a good, good move around there. Um, I took my, took my whatever the heck these things are, man. I, I found these on the side of the road years ago. I think there's some kind of wire clippers. Anyway, I really gave the fire a good, good turn over here. Check this out, man. This is Pocket Bellow at its best. And by the way, folks, I got this from my friend Ernie, who is one of my best friends. He's my brother, man. And uh, he lives out in Colorado, somewhere in the mountains, on a bit of land that I'm probably going to come out and visit at some point. But uh, Ernie, this is like the best gift ever, man. Seriously, folks, if you can get a Pocket Bellows, they are amazing. Check it out. Here we go. I know it's going to work, too. Look at that, man. Instant fire, folks. All due to pocket bellow. And it fits in your hand and into your pocket. All you have to do is extend it, blow into your flame, 
and you got it. And watch, I'll do it again because uh, I didn't shut the door. And this time when I do, the fire will get going. Here we go. Don't get carried away, Jack. It burned down the RV, right? Don't worry, folks. I won't. I got it under control. There you go. That thing right there is mind blowing what it can do. All right? And that thing is responsible for getting this fire going. That's exactly, exactly what the pocket bellow is for. And the best part is, it's so small, man, if it's right into your pocket. That's why they call it the pocket bellow. Peace out, man. Woo!